In this demo now, we want to show you uh, some of the configuration elements for creating your response groups and your response group architecture. So let's go ahead and bring up the control panel. You can do the majority of this from the control panel. And as with everything else in here, our main navigation areas are on the left. And we have a dedicated area here for response groups. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on that. And then you'll notice the navigation across the top. There are three main things that we need to configure here. We need to configure a group, which would be a way of identifying who the people or the agents are that are going to uh, be a part of this response group. And then we need to configure a queue and sort of the behavior of the queue. So in other words, if your phone call is not picked up right away, how, what is the behavior of the queue? And then the workflow. What is the, the flow that we're going to take uh, for our various different options. So let's start with the group. And uh, we're actually going to work from right to left here. So the group is where we come in and we can choose new once it's done thinking here. Um, and we can specify some information about this particular group of agents. Then ultimately we can associate that with a workflow. So first of all, select a service. This is running off of the application service, so we're going to do this one for Miami. This will be a very specific uh, group in the Miami pool. And let's just say that this is my uh, North America sales group. Okay, now the participation policy is informal or formal. If it's informal, what that means is that uh, users who are members of this group our actual agents, uh, they will be in the group and active in the group. Thank you for viewing our short demo video. For more information on K-Alliance's e-learning videos, please visit us at www.kalliance.com or call us at our U.S. toll-free number 1-800-330-9111.